Miss Warren here, and I'm going to show you how to focus a compound light microscope. When you get your microscope, it should always be covered. Um, that protects the lenses because dust buildup on the lenses can actually damage them over the time. Over time, um, so you'll take your dust cover off and put it in a safe place because you'll need to put it on when you're done. Um, most of our microscopes have this handy dandy cord holder on the back, um, <clears throat> so you can unwind the cord if you don't have handy dandy cord winder then the cord should just be loosely wrapped around the base like this. Um, either way you're going to unwind the cord and plug it in. Okay other things you should find with your microscope. Um, you should find that the stage is all the way down so whenever we put them away we make sure the stage is all the way down to the bottom and then you also want to find that the shortest objective the low power objective right here is facing down. Okay. Um, if they're not like that when you find it, please report it to the teacher and then go ahead and set it up like that because you should always start with the stage down and the low power down. Of course, you'll need to turn the light on and you want to adjust the diaphragm so that the largest amount of light is coming through. Um, depending on the microscope, they adjust differently, um, but you just want to make sure the most possible light is coming through the stage here. Okay. Um, again, making sure that the stage is down, low power is down, and the light is on. Then you're going to take your slide um, that you have prepared ahead of time, and you're going to put it on the stage. You move the stage clips out of the way, and you're going to put it, and you're going to put the specimen so it's directly over the light. So just looking with your naked eye, making sure the specimen is directly over the light. And then you're going to lift up the stage clips and put them down to hold that microscope slide in place so it doesn't slide around. Okay, um, at this point, you are ready to focus your microscope. Okay, so you're going to look through the object or the ocular. Sorry, you're going to look through the ocular um, with one eye. I like to close the other eye. Some people leave them both open. It doesn't matter, whatever works for you. Okay, and you're going to look through the ocular. You may see a dark black line. That's just a pointer that's actually in the ocular, and if you turn it, um, you can turn the way that turn the ocular. You can turn the way the pointer is pointing. Okay, and you're just going to see a white blur or maybe a colored blur, depending on your specimen. Okay, at this point, with your stage all the way down, you're going to start turning the coarse focus knob. That's the big focus knob. I always remember little lens, big knob, big lenses, little knob. So it's a rule of opposites. So since I'm using the littlest lens, it's safe to use the coarse focus knob. And I'm going to look and I'm going to focus. Okay, I have to look while I'm turning the knob or I might miss when it comes into focus. Okay, and it's in focus now. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that some people are taught incorrectly is that once it's in focus in low power, if you want to focus in medium or high power, you have to lower the stage and start all over. That is not true. The way these microscopes are built is that the focal length is the same, almost exactly, for all three lenses, all three objective lenses. So once you have it in nice clear focus with your course objective, then if you need to see it closer, um, you can move to the medium power objective. That's the yellow objective here. Um, so I'm moving now from 4 times 10, which is 40 times bigger, to 10 times 10, which would be 100 times bigger. And <clears throat> I'm just going to watch um, as I rotate the revolving nose piece to bring the medium power objective lens into place. I want to make sure it clicks into place, or else when I look into the microscope, all I'm going to see is black. Okay? And now I'm looking through the microscope again. Um, now that I'm using a larger lens, I'm not allowed to touch the large knob. Okay? So I'm using a higher power lens. I'm only going to use the fine focus knob. Okay? Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through and I'm going to see, wow, look, it's already beautifully in focus. If I need to, I'm just going to fine tune with my fine focus knob to get it perfectly in place. Um, I may also need to move the specimen so that what I want to look at is right in the center of the slide. Okay. Um, if when you flip your specimen disappears, um, you need to go back down to low power and refocus under low power. Make sure you get the specimen centered and try again. 
okay? When I'm ready to look at it on high power, if I need to, again, same thing. Do not lower the stage, because then you're just messing up the focus. The focal length is the same. So you're going to slowly turn the revolving nose piece until the high power lens comes into place. It may look like it's going to hit. It's really pretty well protected. So unless you have a big thick thing on your slide, it should be just fine. Okay, as long as you have a nice flat slide, it'll um, turn into place perfectly. And you're going to look through and you're going to see your sample. Okay, again, since I'm using a larger lens, I'm only going to use the fine focus knob to fine tune what I'm looking at. Um, you may notice at this level that the fine focus knob moves you sort of up and down through the specimen. Even though you picked a very thin specimen, um, you can see different layers or different levels of it a lot of the time. Okay, I can also move my thumbs to sort of gently move around my specimen and find the part that I want to look at. Remembering that there are mirrors in here, so if I move it left, the image goes right. Okay. I find the part that I want to look at. I'm looking right at the edge of the paper here because I think that's the most interesting part. Fine focus here. Okay, at this point I can do my observations. I can draw what I see and then I can, when I'm done, go ahead and clean up my microscope. Um, this is where I find my students make the most mistakes because they forget to be safe when they're done. And um, they're very careful all the way through focusing, but when you're done, you need to be careful too. So as soon as you're done, First thing you need to do is go back to that low power lens. That's the safest lens and the hardest one to scratch, okay? Um, that's the short one here, okay? Then, once you're on the low power, then you're gonna lower the stage all the way, okay? So now you've got the most room here to um, take the slide out without scratching any lenses, okay? You're gonna take the slide out and clean that up. You're gonna turn the light source off um, if another class is coming in right after you, you can leave the microscope plugged in and just cover it with the dust cover, okay? Um, stage all the way down and the light off, though, okay? If, um, if another class is not coming in right after you and you are the last one or the only one to use the microscope, you need to clean it up uh, by wrapping the cord, okay? And again, if there's a, a holder like this, you're going to use the cord holder. If not, you're going to loosely wrap it around the base. Okay. You're going to put the dust cover on, and then you're going to put it back in the microscope cover. Make sure that you always carry it with one hand on the arm here and one hand on the base. Two hands. These are not cheap. You don't want to have somebody bump into you and drop it. So make sure you're always using two hands. Okay. Um, one last thing, if you think the lenses are dirty, please let me know. Um, don't try to clean them yourself, even with Kleenex, um, because Kleenex, while it seems kind of soft, um, actually will scratch the lenses. If you've ever had a really bad cold and blown your nose a lot, you know Kleenex isn't as soft as it seems at first. So I have very special, very soft paper that we can use to clean either the ocular, which is the one that usually gets dirty, or even the um, objectives if those get dirty too. And that's how to use a microscope. Make sure when you're done, stage down, low power down, light off, and cover.